The country that separates fathers and sons has disorientated many travelers. It is easy to get lost here. Telemachus, Edgar, Hamlet, and countless other sons, their private dramas sticking away in the silent hours, have sailed so far out into the uncertain distance between past and present that they seem adrift. They are men, like all men, who have come into the world through another man, a sponsor, opening the gate and, if they are lucky, doing so gently, perhaps with a reassuring smile and an encouraging nudge on the shoulder. And the fathers must have known, having once themselves been sons, that the ghostly presence, presence of their hand will remain throughout the years, to the end of time, and that no matter what burdens are laid on that shoulder, or the number of kisses a lover plants there, perhaps knowingly driven by the secret wish to erase the claim of another, the shoulder will remain forever faithful, remembering that good man's hand that had ushered them into the world. To be a man is to be part of this chain of gratitude and remembering, of blame and forgetting, of surrender and rebellion, until a son's gaze is made so wounded and keen that, on looking back, he sees nothing but shadows. With every passing day, the father journeys further into his night, deeper into the fog, leaving behind remnants of himself and the monumental yet obvious fact, at once frustrating and merciful, for how else is the son to continue living if he must not also forget, that no matter how hard we try, we can never entirely know our fathers. Mm -hmm.